Well, owner Glenn Taylor is taking down the for sale sign on the Timberwolves and Lynx franchise. This decision comes as Alex Rodriguez and Mark Laurie were just about to make their final payment of roughly $600 million to take over majority ownership. Uh, Rob Olson joining us live now. Rob, the pair today calling Taylor's decision seller's remorse. This one has a lot of people talking today. Yeah, it does, and it sounds like he does have a bit of seller's remorse, although Glenn Taylor says he does not. He's kind of got mixed messages out there. You know, the hunt is on here for an NBA title, which is very exciting. The hunt is not on for a new owner here. As Glenn Taylor says, he's going to keep it that this done deal, this, this negated deal is just business, but there's a lot of questions about that. Whoever wins on Friday night in Denver will go into first place in the Western Conference with nine games to go. We caught John Krasinski at MSP Airport on his way to Denver for a huge game. It's a very big test for the Timberwolves. Is a Wolves beat writer now for 20 years, an NBA playoff run combined with this sales drama has made his work a bit crazy. Yeah, it's, it's chaotic right now, and it's only going to get more chaotic as the steps in this process play out and the two sides go back and forth against each other. It was nearly three years ago when Glenn Taylor seemed so thrilled to be selling the team to Mark Laurie and Alex Rodriguez for $1.5 billion. Considering Taylor paid $88 million 30 years ago, it's an unthinkable profit. It does tell me that he has lost faith in Mark Laurie and Alex Rodriguez to be the owners. Is that fair or not? That I don't know. Well, I don't think I have sellers remorse. I just think that right now things are going well. In an interview on WCCO Radio, Taylor said he had already given Laurie and Rodriguez an extra month extension. Now he says the Wolves and Lynx are no longer for sale. Laurie and Rodriguez insist they have met all the deadlines and in a statement called it an unfortunate case of seller's remorse that is short-sighted and disruptive to the team and fans during a historic winning season. While Taylor said this is just business, he also clearly loves being the owner. But I think as the way we're going and the way we're running running the team now and the people we have in place and everything, it, it's going very well and I don't want to disrupt it. And there are other issues that Taylor didn't really want to get into specifics about, about the deal here and about concerns that he had. But he also did note that he has other minority partners in this that he's had for a very, very long time. And he has to think about them, too, not just for the stability, but for the fact that the team is now worth more than it was three years ago. So there's that bottom line to think about as well. Obviously, this is going to head probably to the courts. Live at Target Center, Rob Olson, Fox 9. Whew. All right, Rob, thank you.